is not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves. Alyssa Razor, Australia's youngest female adventurer. This is Mount Everest, one of the most challenging and life-changing goals in the world. The summit of Mount Everest stands at 29,029 feet or 8,850 metres. This expedition is not for the faint-hearted. Climbers battle the extreme cold, jet stream winds and low oxygen levels. 15-year-old Alyssa Razar has set her goal for great heights and will now undertake the next two years of intense training to help her achieve her ultimate dream to become the youngest Australian female to conquer the world's highest mountain. I think my main inspiration to become an adventurer was definitely my dad, but also just the fact that I did have a passion for it at a young age. I think I was around it a lot, and over time that passion has just grown and I've enjoyed more and more seeing what I can achieve. And I think my inspiration for Everest is just that, is my passion, and I want to continue to see how far I can go. I think my purpose to climbing Mount Everest is several things. One, I want to encourage younger people to get out and live a little bit and see what you can do with your life and go and chase your dreams. But also, for me, just being able to see how far I can push my limits and I really want to see what I can achieve. From this experience, I really hope to gain not only new life lessons as I do on every trip that I achieve and every trip that I go on, but also I just want to, like I said, push my limits and see how far I can go and I want to continue achieving things over the years, but in particular I want to achieve Everest. I'd like to think I've been very influential in her adventuring career. Uh, Lisa and I have always been really close uh, from the time she was very, very young and we started doing this sort of stuff when she was five years old, uh, just locally, so I guess uh, I've been quite influential and uh, I'm fairly proud of that fact. To say Alyssa is a high achiever would be an understatement. At the age of eight, she became the youngest person to walk the Kokoda track in Papua New Guinea. Um, so far she's just blown me and everyone else that she's been on adventures with away. Like it's, you know, when she was eight, nine and ten years old, she was a real unknown quantity to some people. Um, but she's never ever let me down, she's certainly never ever let anyone else on the adventures down and most adults uh, would struggle to keep up with her. So now as she's become a teenager and she's a young woman, not, uh, not just a kid anymore, very strong and uh, very, very good at what she does. In 2007, aged just 10, Alyssa fulfilled her dream to experience the historic route to the base of the world's highest mountain, Mount Everest Base Camp. And in 2009, aged 12, Alyssa conquered Australia's highest mountain, Mount Kosciuszko, and also the Aussie 10 Peaks, helping to raise money for childhood cancer. Over the next two years, Alyssa will partake in a vigorous and challenging climbing course in New Zealand. Here she'll learn various climbing techniques and also learn how to focus her mindset to overcome the challenges that she may face to reach the top of the summit. My training schedule really consists of a whole mix of different areas of fitness. We do cardio, endurance, balance, strength. I think CrossFit is the number one thing I can be doing for my climbing strength, but we also mix it with a bit of boxing and a bit of trekking as well and some altitude training and I do that pretty much every day. The goal with training in New Zealand is really just to get more climbing experience under my belt before we do attempt Everest. My goal is to complete one or two climbing courses over there and one of them is 10 days of just alpine climbing, learning the ropes and everything and then the second one will be to climb Mount Cook and then probably add a four day course on the end of that. Alyssa will develop a climbing strategy and gain experience through climbing various mountains such as Mount Aconcagua, height 22,841 feet in Argentina, New Zealand's highest mountain, Mount Cook at 3,764 metres, and Mount Manaslu at 26,759 feet or just over 8,000 metres. I think positive thinking and your attitude in anything in life is crucial, but if you want to chase a really big dream, if you don't believe you can do it, it's not going to happen. So I think positive thinking will be something I need to have for this adventure. I think the mental preparation comes from not only the physical training where I push myself every time I train, but also it comes from how many books I've read and DVDs I've watched. I think to really go after a dream, you have to be completely involved. For Alyssa to achieve her dreams above the clouds, she'll need support in getting there. 
If you'd like to support Alyssa in her conquest to reach the top of the world in 2014, please contact Adventure Professionals or visit alyssarazar.com.au. You know, we're very confident that Alyssa can make it to the top of Mount Everest. Uh, there's a very high fail rate and a lot of those come from weather conditions or things outside of their control. But the things inside our control, her ability, her mental strength, uh, once she gets up onto that mountain, I've got absolutely no doubt that she's as good a chance as anyone that's ever made the summit of that mountain to actually doing it. What we've got no control over is the finances and the backing to get there, and that's where we need people's help. But to actually summit Mount Everest, I believe she's got every uh, opportunity of actually making it. To any young people out there who have a dream or a goal, I would just say to work hard and take risks because you know sometimes these dreams are risky and you have to stop worrying about whether you're going to fail or not and just focus on what you can do to achieve your goal.